In this video, we're going to try and integrate this from 0 to 1. The thing is, we don't know how to integrate this, so we need to turn this into a series, and then we would integrate each individual term of the series. The question is, how many, how many terms do we need of the series in order to get this to be within this level of accuracy? So the first step is to rewrite this in, uh, in this form. Then we can then jump to this. So the first step is to rewrite this as 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 this, and then uh, and then we can now jump to this. And we've done this many times, so I'm assuming we can do this. So let's let's look at this one for example. You would start with a half. You would start with a half. Uh, so that's this ne negative half here, and then it will be uh, because because this is n. So th th this thing here would be n equals zero n equals uh, 1, n equals 2, so this thing here is n equals 2, n equals 3, so this thing here is n equals 3, and this thing here is n equals 4. So uh, so, so we, we would do this, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that means you start with your half, you start with your half, um, we, we would need 1, 2, 3, 4. So uh, half take away 1, uh, then uh, then take away two, then take away three, and so on. Um, if if you want n, if you want um, n equals three, if you want this one here, you you would need to count one, two, three, uh, and then uh, and then it will be a half, negative half, and then negative half take away one, and then negative half take away two. That will give you this, and so on. We've done this before. So so in the past we would express this something along the line of this. But the thing is, this is not very useful. It is possible to express this in this form. This form is much more superior to uh, to this form. This form here is it doesn't serve us very well. So uh, so rewrite this in this form. So now we need to understand how how it is that we're able to get from here to uh, to here because this form here. You see this one here. If if you use this, let's say you you want to know n equals four, then you have to manually count one two. 3, 4, because you need 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you would need to start with a half. Um, you would need to start with negative half, and then you need to manually take away 1, and then manually take away 2, and so on, to get all these here. But if you write in this form here, look at this form. If you, uh, if, if you have n equals 4, um, if you have n equals 4, then, then that would then give us this. So if n equals 4, you would put this into here. That would be uh, 4 times 4. Uh, that would be 16, which would be this, and then uh, and then this whole thing here will be taken care of automatically because uh, because look when, when n equals four when n equals four put it into here so that would be eight factorial that would be eight factorial divided by uh, two to the power of eight two to the power of eight um, and then and then and then it would be four factorial four factorial squared. And this, by the way, if you if you uh, sit there and think about it, this thing here, if you sit there and work this out, it actually equals this whole thing here. Because, uh, because hang on, let's, let's look at this. 8 factorial is this. 8 factorial is 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then you've got uh, 2 to the power of 8. So, so that will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then uh, this one here, you've got um, four factorial, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, because it's squared. And then, and then look at this. Um, uh, hang on, let, let me think. Uh, this. Hang on, let me think. Um, uh, hang on, let me think. Well, think think about it. Uh, this thing here actually equals this thing here. Um, but I, I, I need to show you how you can get from from here. To uh, well, I I need to show you how you can get from here. You can express this as this, which I will do in the next video because I've lost track. Um, but but in, in the next video I will show you how you can get from here to here. Okay.